Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate that so much. So there it goes. Here goes another one. Hyundai Elantra and owner gets a ticket over stock exhaust. Police says to sue the dealer. Hmm. It's not the dealer's fault. It's not the the only people that are fault it is it's the state of california because they allowed these vehicles to be sold here if they don't want these vehicles or if they have to be within compliance they should be talking to the manufacturer it's up to the manufacturer to make sure these vehicles are compliant it's not up to the dealerships it's not up to the consumer because the consumer doesn't doesn't make the product the consumer just consumes they buy the product so it's up to the manufacturer to make these cars legal for you to own and be able to drive it and not have any issues dealing with the cops now once you start going after market and modding your vehicles that's one thing but if completely stock nah man but anyway we're doing another react video so let's do this i got my you know my headphones already so let's go do that right now i mean literally a day or a few days after i made this same video, Comptel Dodge Challenger Hellcat owner, it's illegal to use the red key as it makes it too loud. Those cars are already too loud, even on the lowest mode. It doesn't matter what mode you're in. It's already too loud. So, man, these, these, these cops are just, but this is the worst one. The other one was an idiot, but this one is worse. I mean, much worse, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and hit the video. Hopefully I got sound. I got sound. Oh god, the cops behind me. Is that the guy in the motorcycle? Yeah. The same motor on the side? Yeah, I saw him turn. And just following you. Ah oh, man. Why am I getting pulled over? Guys, I'm Motor Officer Canwright. Hey, officer, how you doing? Doing okay. Hey, what year is this vehicle? Uh, 22. Why is it backfiring? Uh, it's, it's making noise. I know it's how it comes stock. <laughs> really? Yeah, you can check under the hood if you'd like. Oh no, I'll just send you to the state ref, and what they'll do is send you back to the factory. Uh -huh. have... You see that? What a fucking asshole. You see those words there? What a dick. Ah, I know, it's hard. Ah, I'll just send you to the state ref, and you can send it back to the factory, motherfucker. That is how they come from the factory. Bone stock. All right? I'm not the one that made these vehicles. I didn't design it. All right? State of California approved for the vehicle to be sold here stock. Just, just like the Hellcats, the Mustangs, and the Camaros, all those vehicles are completely stock and they're loud as hell. The California, state of California, approved for them to be sold here. So you can just stop harassing people and giving them a hard time for absolutely nothing. <sighs> Come stock. Really? Yeah, you can check under the hood if you'd like. Oh no, I'll just send you to the state ref and what they'll do is send you back to the factory. Uh -huh. and have what and they'll send you back to the factory? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. This is a stock car, man. This is how they come. All right? Yeah, it's higher than 95 decibels. So the fuck what? It's how they come. All right? I'm Like I said, I get it like that. Hyundai ships them like that. Um, all those other cars, too. Mustangs. Especially the V8 ones, they're, they're higher than 95 decibels, even if you're on the low settings. Except maybe Mustangs when, you know, you can open it up a little bit and go louder. But it doesn't specifically say for you to... But in, anyway, man, this get me heated just a little bit. 
whatever, is it in track mode? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what they're going to do here, let me have your license. So what happens is I send you to the state ref, uh -huh. all right, state ref for here in California. They're going to suspend your registration. Okay. You can't drive the car. you got to go take it to the state ref. They're going to look at it. They're going to send you back to the dealer. The dealer has to remove the track ops that you have to pay for. It's about $4,000. <laughs> Once that's been done, you go back to the state ref to verify all the track modes have been removed. You cannot drive this on the road with the track mode. Oh, I can't? No. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, you officer. won't be able to anymore. You've just lost this. You're going to spend about seven grand on this car right now. Go ahead and get me the registration. I don't need to look under the hood. Okay. You can't track rally motor illegal on the road. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, it's your money, not mine. Right, right. They tell you this at the dealer. If not... They don't tell you a god... Mm, let me rephrase that. They don't tell you a damn thing in the dealer when you're purchasing these vehicles. You're not signing anything. At least from from my knowledge of purchasing cars for over the years. And I purchased some cars. My when I purchased my Type R, they didn't tell me anything. They didn't they didn't tell me anything. I don't even know if the car was in compliance. You just get the car, you sign it, then you, you know, financing all that stuff and that's it they don't make you sign an additional paperwork letting you know like hey you you can't use this mode on streets yeah. get the fuck out of here on some of these cars it doesn't even change the exhaust notes the exhaust does not change on how loud it is some of the cars are already just loud it doesn't matter all right so they're just hassling people Left and right for absolutely no sense, especially if you've done nothing wrong and you have a completely stock car. They should just know that. All right. You can go ahead and pop his hood. Check it out. You can even go behind the freaking exhaust. You can see whether it's modified or not. You can tell, you know, Google it up. Look what a stock exhaust looks like on a Hyundai Elantra and or any other vehicle. But this car, this cop, man. Grade A asshole. The other one was just a dumbass. You could sue the dealer for the money. Tell them okay. you want your four or five thousand dollars back. Sure, sure. Yeah, they didn't tell me that. No, I'm sure they did. They're required no, they by didn't. law. They oh, didn't. Is that you so? cannot operate track mode on the road. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't tell me that. Well, so. then I would sue them. All right, for this ticket. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to get the insurance. Sure. <sighs> but yeah, man. Um, all I gotta say is just. Be careful out there, guys, if you have any of these modifying vehicles because they seem to be out for blood. If you are in the state of California, you can vote with your money. Um, make sure you are participating in any kind of um, uh, propositions or anything that can affect you and the way of living. The best thing you can do is you can vote for all these different legislations. And then also you can write to your congressperson, um, write to your your dickhead of a governor, you know, Newsom, you can write to him, not like he's going to give a fuck. I mean, at the end of the day, California only cares about money and patting their pockets and making your life hard. That seems to be the goal in the state of California here. Um, we don't like common sense. We just like to make our people, you know, give them as milk them as much as we can, because that's what we do here. Give you the highest prices in gas, highest cost of living, high housing, just Everything here in this damn state is expensive as fuck. And if you're not making within like $100,000 a year or more, you're struggling. That's just facts. But yeah, and this happened in Riverside. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> so anyway, so then he goes to the state ref like the guy uh, told him to. He goes to the state ref. He puts it in, um, I guess, puts it in uh, sport mode. He should have just had him run it in normal mode. From what I hear, it's illegal for them to run it in any other settings than the normal settings because that's what the car goes for. And you can change. I don't know. It, it got a little bit more advanced for me there. Like, there's a whole Reddit um, where it's just, yeah, it just, it's, it just go, woo over my head. A lot of jargons there. But... The highest decibel that any vehicle in the state of California has to be within 95 decibels. And anything higher than that, you have to go back to, you know, stock, obviously, if you have your car modded. Um, now, the difference between this person, which his car is not as loud as the Hellcat, um, I think, you know, the other cop 
was not much of an asshole, you know, but he was still a dumbass, but he wasn't an asshole about it. He was like, oh, you're going to be paying $4,000 or seven thousand. Man, it's a stock car. What can you do? All right. What can you do? You can't do anything to a stock car. The exhaust has not been modified. It doesn't look like it has any intake or anything like that that's not supposed to be there. It's completely stock. So, so anyway, he takes it. He passes the emission. He fails the, uh, the, uh, the noise. I think it came out to about um, 103 decibels or something like that on the Reddit page. And then uh, he took it to the dealership. And then the dealership actually you know, went through and they said that the car is completely stock. Customer states he received state's referee on vehicle bin, blah, 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 launch of vehicle caused by a customer state. He got stopped for modifying exhaust on his stock, Elantra N. Authorities gave him a state ref on vehicle that is not modified. There is no way to put this vehicle. There's n- there's not modified there. Modified? There That is not modified. <laughs> oh, there is no way to put this vehicle back to stock form. Vehicle's already stock. In parentheses, the vehicle is already in stock. So why the hell are the cops wasting all these money, time, resources to stop people for exhaust noises when they could be fighting crimes, people that actually need police help, domestic violence, uh, robberies, all these different crimes that could be going on. Instead, we're getting pulled over and being harassed for fucking exhaust. Yeah, that makes complete sense. That's a nice way for them to, you know, utilize our hard-earned money from the taxes, from people that pay their taxes. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just fucking amazing. It's great. Good job, California. I truly hope that um, there is a lot more backlash people out here. Even if you're not invested into this community, um, it's, it's just, we're just trying to live. We're just trying to enjoy our life. We're not just trying to bother anybody but we just especially from a car that's completely stock how are you going to return something that's already stock to back to stock ah so there you go um this is just from like yeah I've, I've been reading all these this is posted from the um from uh, from the owner and so he goes on to say update on the situation i got a while a while ago, I took the car in for the state of inspection and it passed smog but failed exhaust. It was reading at max 102 decibels on an average of 98 decibel. The state inspector really tried to make it pass knowing that the car is stock and tried several readings from different angles. But the pop from the exhaust would spike the DB reading by uh, 3 decibels and exceed the 95 passing limit. After the inspection, I took the car to the dealer and they wrote up the confirmation letter that the car is stock. Aside from providing me the letter, they weren't able to help in any way. The suggested, they suggested that I could get a muffler silencer temporarily to pass the inspection. Seems that I'll be having to take this to court. I'll update everyone when that happens. In case you haven't seen the video, which we have. Edit, the inspection was done in a sport model, at least for DCT model. There are still very... Slide pops. This is what caused me to fail the test. I never mentioned N mode to him. When he asked what the loudest mode is, I said sport. He put the car in sport after I showed him how and revved the car himself and wouldn't let me touch it during inspection. As of now, I'm waiting for Hyundai Corporate to get back to me. Until then, I can't even get the car inspected again because I need to show proof that the work was done to make the car or the to the car and it is now fixed the car is fixed there's nothing wrong with the car the exhaust is fine (sighs) bureaucrats fucking bureaucrats man so there's a couple of options like i said talk to your legislations talk to your governor talk to anybody in your city state in order for us to make any kind of changes because then we can't that how are all these companies are going to stay in business and make off the market parts for state of California? You can't sell any of those parts because why risk it when I'm going to have to take them off in a few months or so? It's kind of like window tint. What's the point when you're going to have to take them off when you get pulled over by a cop? But anyway, I think I kept you on long enough. Um, I really do hope that everything works out for this gentleman. Um, it's very unfortunate. Um, that's why my Type R is sitting in the garage. I don't. I just bring it up once in a while. But anyway, you have yourself a very blessed day and uh, have a good night.